I thought that maybe if I get this physique, I'm gonna just have it all. What's going on? Roger Tufit here to help you lose weight and not your lifestyle. And I, I messed up. Today, I'm here to share with you my top five mistakes I've made along the fitness journey. So if you are new to your fitness journey, make sure you stick around because these are very important mistakes that I don't want you to be making. And that you're probably making right now, so these gotta stop, okay? And after you finish this video, let me know which, which one that you might be making right now and let me know which one that you may have made before too. The first mistake I made was setting unrealistic goals. Now let me tell you about my goals personally. So just like I say most guys, I wanted to get a lot of tone and a lot of muscle built into my body, right? And I, from the stuff that I've seen on the internet, um, people were posting a lot about, oh, I gained 10 pounds of muscle in like two months, stuff like that, right? That's the first thing that was unrealistic. Thinking that gaining 10 pounds in like two months is all muscle. So muscle doesn't actually grow like that, right? It's actually very, very, very hard to grow muscle tissue, okay? 10 pounds of muscle is more like a year's goal if you have the genetics to do that. You might be anywhere from like six to 12 pounds of lean muscle being put onto your body with consistent effort in a single year. It is very tough to build muscle. So if you put on 10 pounds in two months, it ain't all muscle, I can tell you that right now, okay? And if you are someone who's done that, then you just have the genetics for that. 99.9% of the other people in the world cannot do that. So I was setting my goals based off of a lot of unrealistic information that is out there, a lot of myths, and that's the reason I post a lot of content I do now, so you guys can avoid those mistakes thinking that you can just change your body within like a small time frame. People trying to drop 40 pounds in two months, guys, that's, that's not a good goal to have, okay? Um, and I'm gonna keep it at that. Stop setting unrealistic goals because unrealistic goals will literally have you wasting time and will get you discouraged when you're not seeing the results that you thought you were gonna see. Another part was outworking my diet. Now this stems back to, I wanna say, almost 10 years ago when I was 16. And I literally thought like I could outwork my diet because um, here I was playing football, I was running, I was on a track team, and all the guys had six packs, literally, except for me. Like I had this fluffy, pudgy, like like it was kind of there, but I was like, dang, what am I doing? Maybe I'm not working out hard enough. That's literally what I thought. Maybe I'm not working out hard enough. But when I look at my diet in the morning, I was having pop tarts for breakfast. I was having PB and J sandwiches. Um, I was having school lunch with the milk. I was having spaghetti for dinner, like all the time. There was barely any protein at all. There was barely any vegetables. Like, it just wasn't there. Um, and once, it wasn't until, I think, five or six years later, three to four years later, when I finally got into college and I did some more further research and I realized I can't actually outwork my diet. I actually have to put in work like I am already. Like, I'm putting in enough work. It's just my diet is trash. <laughs> that's, that's basically what it was. So once I fixed up the diet and everything, I was able to finally bring out the physique I was actually looking for, right? Now, the third thing that I messed up on was training for the wrong reasons. Okay, I will be completely honest. I wanted a six pack because I felt like the reason that I was so shy and had low self-esteem and that women were attracted to me and stuff like that, I thought that maybe if I get this physique, I'm gonna just have it all. And I'm gonna stop right there. That ain't how it works. <laughs> Found out the hard way. But uh, I was training for the wrong reasons. And even if that's not your reason, I want you to just think about like why you actually want to train. So my reason shifted from having this aesthetic look um, and everything to more so the aesthetic look being the byproduct of what I'm doing. But my reason for training now is longevity not having to face obesity, not having to face diseases that are linked to obesity, being able to still pick my kids up over my head, right? Not having random aches and pains because there's so much weight on my body. That's my reason for training. It just so happens that eating right and exercising comes with the physique that you want to have on your body, right? Which leads me to number four, showing off and attention, okay? So like I used to work out and my favorite thing about working out was Honestly, the attention. Like, I like being in the gym and people like look at my weight because it's like I'm lifting a lot of weight or I look a certain way, I look really shredded, really lean. I just really just like the attention. That, that's all it was. Um, and that's kind of like one of the wrong reasons to train for. I mean, if that's your motivation, then I guess go ahead. But I'm not an attention whore anymore. I let that stuff alone and I just do what I do personally. If somebody wants help on um, how to get to a certain level, that, that's, that's the type of attention I want to garner. 
right? What kind of information you're constantly putting out. Now, number five, being an old dog who ain't trying to learn no new tricks, right? So, remember what I told you about trying to outwork my diet? Um, I wasn't willing to learn new things to get to that next level. So, like, even when I got all the way into college and I was starting to do um, different kind of workouts, um, I would try different things here and there, but I was so stuck in my old ways and all the workouts I learned through football um, from my high school days that I didn't want to change. I didn't want to go out and try a whole new routine, a whole new training regimen. I was just used to this. But it wasn't until I finally changed my style of training that I started to see the body and the, the goals and the results that I actually wanted to see. So as you go through your fitness journey, I want you to make sure that you're not being that old dog, okay? Try to learn a new trick or two every now and then. Try a new routine out. Try a new style of exercise. If your friend wants to go to a Zuma class or a cycling class, go try it out. I did a cycling class before, and it was actually fun. Like I, I was I'm the last person I would see taking a cycling class, but I took one, and it was actually an amazing class. It was really live. It was fun. Like I didn't even realize 60 minutes had gone by. You know, so just try new things because you never know what you're gonna really be gravitated towards. And when you partake in activities that are active and that you actually enjoy, you go harder at those things and your fitness journey becomes less of a chore and more of something that you really, really want to do. So those are my top five mistakes. There are more, but these are just some really some ones I want to give you first. If you want to hear about some more mistakes and everything, let me know and I'll make another one of these videos sometime in the future. Other than that, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell notification so you can see when I upload new videos upcoming. Also, post on your Facebook, share it to your friends. If you learned something from this video, put it in the comments below and let's have that conversation. Other than that, grab my free ebook, link below. Check out the home program, Six Weeks to Shred, link below, and let's get you started on your weight loss journey. I'm gonna talk to you next time. Peace.